Hi, my beautiful family, and welcome to another of my videos. Well, I hope the sound is okay because I changed some settings on my camera, and when it zooms in, it kind of makes those sounds. So I have this kind of mic here. Now I'm on my pajamas and hope you can hear me. But we are here today and you're really zoomed in. Okay, I had something on my face. Okay, you really zoomed in because I'm here to try some new products and uh, some of the, our new releases, some of them are newer releases, but not the new new, you know, but you've probably seen the th thumbnail with the product. So if you want to hear my thoughts and see me using these products and wear the whole day, then please keep on watching. Okay, I need to moisturize. I didn't do that before because I'm trying out this Peter Thomas Ruth Vital E Microbeam Age Defined Eye Cream. And this is a really, really good eye cream. I really like it. It moisturize my under, under eyes. I have really dry under eyes and my lines get um, kind of deep and I can see I get very oily on my t-zone but some for some reason under my eyes it's always dry and I really like this eye cream. It's thick and it feels really nice under the eyes. I like it. Then I've been also using the new Ole Hendrickson straight 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 training peptide boost moisturizer i have combination skin and i've been really enjoying this if you can see i used this for i think two weeks now and i really like it so i'm going to do that usually i do like to go in with some toners and other stuff but i'm not going to do that today we are here to try some the new newest products I'm going to go in with the eyeshadow primer and I have eyeshadow primers that are newer that I'm trying out but I want to wear this whole day and let's just say that I can always trust this one and the Wet n Wild. It's still really good. This is almost out. I think I have my Wet n Wild actually, un you know, not even open so I'm going to use that after finishing this one. But I like the Urban Decay. I do always set my primers. The only thing I don't like about this one is that it doesn't have coverage, so it doesn't cover anything. I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty new, what it's called, Cherry Blossom Powder. I have a little bit left here. I'm going to use that one because I really enjoy it. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the eyeshadow palette that I've been using for a couple of um weeks not every day but almost every day is this new from natasha denona pastel palette and i've been really liking it i do want to go in and use that this palette today to not you know go into creating a, a special makeup look just to use it i'm going to go in with morphe and jacqueline hill 33 brush and i want to go in these mm, greeny colors so i'm going to go in with the brisk this shade here and bring that really high. I do want to go in with this tool. I don't know if I pronounce this color right, but this one here into the crease. I'm using the same brush, but I'm just going to go in on the end and bring it into the crease. I don't know if you can hear my son, he's playing in Fortnite with his friends and it's sometimes hard for me to film <laughs> during the weekends because the kids are often with their friends online but I hope it doesn't bother you too much guys. And this color can be more pigmented if you go in with another more dense brush. I'm not going to do that because I want it to be uh, just blend it softly into this first color brisk that we used. And I'm going in with this Lunar Beauty LBE 3 brush and I'm going into Bora, this darkest purple shade in this palette. It's that kind of cream matte texture, the eyeshadows that I really, really like. 
and I'm just going to try to deep up a little bit of the other corner. Going a little bit above my natural cre crease line, kind of to make my eye more open. And then I'm blending the rest of the eyeshadow that I have on this brush without adding more into the crease. And just slightly above. Okay, so I'm going in with a brush from uh, Sosu. It's 204, this kind of flat brush. And I'm going in into this mini frost color, the darkest shimmery green that we have in this palette. And this brush is dry. I do get a little bit of fallout, but... Then I'm going in with this Adriatic color, this green here, with the same brush. Okay, girls, so we are going to go in and then fix uh, the eyeshadow look, but we are actually here to try some new products. I have here in front of me the new Smashbox Photo Finish Control Mattifying Primer. Now, mm, <laughs> I don't know guys, maybe I'm late to this game. I don't know if they had this in other packaging. I know that uh, kind of moisturizing, what it's called, I, I don't remember, but a glass bottle. I know I sent that to my friend Valerie a couple of box swaps ago. She really likes it. They have it, but in this new kind of packaging. I know they had that more silicone-y um, primer too that's change the packaging. I don't know if this one already existed. I have no idea, but this is so cute. I bought it actually in this size that's the 10 milliliters. It's really cute, but I don't need a lot of, oh my God, there we go. I don't need a lot of eye primers because I have some new primers that I need to try out. I also have that, let me show you the new NYX Plump Right Back Primer. If you want to see that video, so subscribe to my channel because that video will soon come up. But this is the Photo Finish Mattifying Primer. And it says that uh, skin defined it. Silk screen complex helps balance skin, boost hydration, plus protect against environmental stressors like pollution, makeup, perfected, shine free look with a matte finish, breathable valve smooth, blurs imperfections, helps makeup glide on, looks better longer. Um, yeah, okay, so it sounds like a good primer, so let's just use some of it. And it doesn't have any special scent, I know how much to apply, but um, okay, so it's it's a kind of like a heavier, doesn't feel silicone, but it feels like it's filling in my pores, and it feels really nice on the skin, like a heavier moisturizer, and it sinks into the skin really fast. It's not sticky. Uh, I I like the feeling of it. I can't feel it on the skin, and it looks like it mattified a little bit. I don't know. It looks fine. I mean, it, it looks fine. It feels fine. So let's move. I need more coffee. I have my uh, Animal Crossing mug that I got from my sister. Love Animal Crossing. Let's go in with the foundation. And for the foundation today, I do have the new Miracle Pure Skin Imperfect Foundation 24 Hydration Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin C with SPF 30. I have it in two shades. I have in 40 light ivory and 33 crystal beige. It's so hard. Okay, let's shake them. It's so hard to choose shades online, but I love the packaging though. I, I mean, this kind of packaging, I think it looks really, really fun. Let's swatch the 40 ivory and look how cool this is. I know if you can see, let's try to zoom it in. There comes the foundation. Ooh. So this is 40 ivory, light ivory. 
uh, it's really light so I think the other one is going to be even more or even lighter I don't know this is 33 crystal beige maybe not maybe not oh it's oh I need to mix it a little bit more okay so this one is more yellow Mm, okay, uh, I do want to go in with one of my other foundations to and from Dior just to see which one is close closest to the one that I have. Okay, so this is to and from the what's it called the um, Dior foundation, and this is ivory forty, and this is light beige thirty three from Max Factor. So definitely none of them. But when I blend, it looks like the ivory looks the closest. So we are going to go in with that ivory color. And the other one, I will um, give my sister to try it. I don't need both of them. So this one goes to my sister. And I always buy like two or three shades. And sometimes when something, it's not really my shade. She has a different shade of foundations. I give it to her so she can try it. It looks like it has some oil in it, or I don't know if it's SPF, so I need to kind of, you know, blend it a little bit better. Okay, so let's go with this on the face. I hope. Now, I did bought even the new Rimmel, uh, what's called Rimmel concealer, but this is, it looks like it's going to be a little bit too dark for my under eyes. Uh, it says like light, 20 light, but nothing light about it in the packaging though. So I don't know how much to apply, but I feel like I didn't apply a lot. So <laughs> that looks funny. Let's see just with a brush first how it looks, how it looks with a brush. Okay. It kind of looks to oxidize a little bit. Goes on really nice with the brush. And it looks to be a really good match when it comes to my skin. So this is this shade is definitely right for me. I don't know if it's going to be light when I get a little bit more tan, but we can bronze it up. So it goes on really nice with a brush. But it looks like it's more like right now medium coverage. It doesn't look like I have anything on except my nose, but I didn't blend it right. But I do want to go in with the sponge and I do want to go in with some more of the foundation. Just a little bit more. Let's do a hot. Oh, that's plenty. Let's do some hearts. Okay, so it says medium buildable coverage. It's definitely medium. I don't know if it's how buildable it is because I did go in twice and I still didn't get that full, full coverage. Though I did went from light to medium coverage. And it looks really nice with, this, with the, what it's called, the... Um, Sponge 2, this is a beautiful shade, but I do want to go in just a little bit on some parts of my skin just to see if we can build it up. I don't know if you can see here uh, my imperfections, but let's go in with some more here just to see if it's going to, you know, cover. Yeah, it's definitely buildable, but I don't know if you're going to get a full, full coverage foundation. So if you are going for full, full coverage, this is definitely not a foundation for you. This is more like a medium coverage. It's radiant, definitely gives me a nice glow. Not really my cup of tea. I'm not like a glowy person, but if this, I do like this kind of glow, but I do have combination skin and I get really oily. So this will be a problem for me if um, I get a little bit oilier during the day. Uh, but I do like how it looks. It looks like my skin. It looks really nice on my nose too. It sank into the skin. It works really good with the primer that we tried. 
Um, I don't know. And if this primer kind of helps me control my oils and I don't get too much oily during the day, I'll definitely like this combination combo. But I really like how it sank into the skin. It didn't settle it in my pores or fine lines. It looks really good. So far, so good. Okay, we are going in with this Kind and Free Rimmel London Concealer, Hydrating Concealer. And I have it in shade, oh, two, two, I don't know if you can see how it's up, 20 light. Definitely not light. I think this is a little bit too dark for this foundation, but let's see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Definitely darker than the foundation. But you know what? I do, I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty powder. So that will definitely make it a little bit lighter. I have darkest foundation, so I think this will definitely go with that. But that was, I thought it would be a lighter online, but I didn't want it to be too light, but. Okay, so it's really medium coverage. It's not giving me full coverage concealer which I usually like and go for. It's definitely hydrating, but it feels nice. It feels nice. It kind of smoothed everything. I'm going to go in a little bit more with the concealer just to try to blend, you know, cover more. But it really makes everything look sm looks smooth and nice and my lines are not uh, too visible and it didn't set, settle into the lines. It did, doesn't look dry Definitely hydrating so it's medium coverage concealer too. It's not full coverage and it's not going to give you full coverage So I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom now under my eyes to make everything to set everything and make it a little bit brighter I don't know if you can see, I just went with my sponge and this powder a little bit here on top and it mad mattified everything. Uh, but I'm not going to go with this powder everywhere else. Um, even if I started, <laughs> I forgot that I actually have a powder to try out today. Another powder to try out. And that powder is the new Rimmel London Kind and Free Hydra uh, Healthy Look Press Powder. And I have it in O20 light and I have it in one translucent. There we have these powders. And I thought this light will suit me, but looking at the, uh, the puff disappeared. Looking at the powder, it's definitely a little bit, I don't know if it's darker, but we'll save this one. Let's go in with the translucent one. And I'm not going to use, there is a puff here. I'm not going to use the puff. I'm going to go in with my uh, powder brush. And this is Cash Beauty number one. And I'm just going in, oh, mm, okay. And try to set the rest of the face. Okay, something happened. Let me zoom in. Do you see here how the... How the powder settled in and looks dry and here it kind of went into the pores. It doesn't look really good and that's the Huda Beauty powder. And this concealer is definitely light. And now when I removed the powder, I can see that it's not covering anything. So this foundation also, it's a little bit too light of the coverage than I would like it to, but mm, 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 I'm not happy about the face makeup so far. I felt like the foundation looked much better before me setting it with the powder. Uh, but we'll see how it's going to wear. Sometimes some foundations need time to, you know, work with the face oils and everything. But I don't like the concealer. I, I, I wish I had more coverage here and I did apply a lot of concealer 
it looks like I don't have concealer on the eyes or feels like I don't have concealer on, or on the eyes. So it's not a heavy concealer, but I just wish it was more covering more. So I don't know. Mm? We'll see. But I will try these products more and, you know, use them a little bit more before I go in and give you my full thoughts about that. I'm going to go in with the bronzer. Now I'm going to go in with this Morphe Icon bronzer. Now I had this for a while and this is a really nice bronzer. I don't know if it's still available, but it was really popular. Okay. I hate when this happens. When my hair is going crazy together with my bronzer. I did put some powder here to kind of cut the cheeks a little bit. Okay, we are going in with the blush. And for the blush, I am going to go in with this Hot Beauty. I just like this Revolution blush and I'm reaching for it a lot. I can see myself using this foundation. It looks really nice now when it's sitting on my face for a couple of minutes. Let me zoom in to show you. Do you not remember that patch? It's kind of gone and here it's gone. So it kind of works a little bit with my face oils and everything. So it looks much better now, but it's still, it's not the coverage I like to go. But if you want something, I feel like I'm broken record. If you want something that's light coverage, definitely something for you. I'm going in with this kind of brush. This is not clean brush, but we are going with this Bora Dark Purple that we had. I can see that it settled into my line here, the, cre the concealer. And here it looks kind of heavy. So this is maybe not a concealer for me. I'm going to take a fla flat small brush. This is from Zoeva, I think. Yes, this is Zoeva number 238. And going with Illusion, this bright, now mm, this color here. It's kind of duochrome white and um, pink goes really, oh, kind of applied a little bit too much. I think it will marry together these colors perfectly. Uh, for a couple of weeks I got a box swap from my friend Valerie and I love Valerie. If you haven't seen her channel, go watch her videos. She likes to create makeup looks, try some new products. I love her channel, so go over her, to her and watch her videos. But she sent to me BLCO OPL, I think it's called. This is um, a liner and I've been really liking it. I've been liking it and it's really nice. So I like to go in and just line my, just a little bit because I have hooded eyes and now I'm going to create a big liner. I'm just going with this really close to my low, a lot to my lash line. In between my um, lashes. And then I like to go in with a small pencil because this is really nice to smudge, kind of this kind of eyeliner pencil. And I just without any product, go in to kind of blend it a little bit because I don't like that harsh eyeliner look. And voila, I've been really liking this. So, so good, really good liner. Okay, so I did bought two new products for my eyebrows. Now I do have uh, Isadora Brown, Isadora Brow Fine Liner. I have it in soft brown and also in 43, 42 soft brown and 43 medium brown because I don't know, my lines, my eyebrows are, I don't like go too dark. I don't like going too light. So it's kind of hard to me, for me to find that perfect shade when it comes to eyebrow product. They look like this. Let me show you. It looks like this and it has this nice small tip. So this is number 42, no this is 43 medium. So I'm going to go in with this one here a couple of times look like that. And then we go with number 
42 soft brown. So this is the soft brown and this is mirror. Can you see how it bleeds? This is making me scare, scared. I don't want that to do it on my eyebrows. It's bleed. I, I know, is it called bleeding? But look how it looks when just watching it on my arm. Is that normal? I've never tried anything like this before, these kind of products. I have no idea, but let's go in. <laughs> my eyebrows. Let's go in and see if we can destroy this look. Uh, okay. Okay, so it goes on fast. I mean, I'm not hating it. Uh, it looks really natural. Mm, okay, my thoughts. I'm not hating it, but I'm not loving it either. I think powder are much easier to use than this. I have, I don't know. I have to work with this a little bit more. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go in with uh, this Fruit Explosion uh, Kiko Highlighter in Fruit Explosion. One Golden Dream. This beautiful highlighter. And I'm using my fingers because I love using my fingers when it comes to highlighters. Look at that. And I'm going in with Milani Make It Last Matte Finish Spray that I got from my friend Valerie. And maybe this is like cheating because we are trying out the foundation. But you know, actually not for me because I always go in with mattifying or long lasting or I know, long hour wear sprays. So this makeup I tried today needs some convincing to do for me, actually, the new makeup that I tried out. The primer so far looks good, but the foundation also is looking good. Mm, I don't know how it kind of looks on camera, but in real life it kind of looks fine, 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 fine. It looks like my skin. Uh, though I, the only thing I've been using is actually the setting spray and uh, the eyeshadow bronzer and the other stuff that I really like. Okay, we are going to go in with a couple of more new products. We're going to go in with the new mascara. Before we go that in there, we're going to curl the lashes. Okay, before I go in with that, I do want to talk about this Cash Beauty Liquid Silk. This is the body liquid illuminator. I've been really enjoying this one. I've been putting it on my decolletage, my uh, neck, and I've been really liking it. I can't wait, wait to wear tops and have that all over my body because it really is good. I love it. Just wanted to mention it because I'm not using it in this video, but I do want to mention it. And I will use it in other videos when, it's, when it gets a little bit better. So we're going to in, go in with the new mascara that I got. This is the Maybelline Colossal Curl Bounce. Curl of Bounce. I love the packaging, guys. Look at this beautiful packaging. Looks really stunning. Um, and um, I like Maybelline mascaras. Not all of them, but some of them. And this is how the wand looks. It's a little bit bent. I don't know if you can see. It looks to be like a thicker kind of mascara, which I don't mind. This is kind of hard. It's not going to stand straight. Let's try. Oh, I love how it separates my lashes. So this is one coat. I don't know if you can see any difference, but it's um, thicker mascara. It separates the lashes. Uh, I don't know if it, it makes any big difference, but we are going to go in with a couple of more layers. Um, I I have problem with mascaras uh, transforming down on my lower lashes and flaking, and I have really oily eyelids. So that is something I need to. I kind of want mascaras not to do. So one coat on both lashes. Let's just go in with the second coat and see what it can happen. I will let this this dry and see if we can remove it with a yeah somehow. Okay, so this is the second coat, and I really like how it made my lashes a little bit longer. I feel like I 
wish it was a little, my lashes were a little bit longer, but they are not. I don't almost have any lashes, so this is kind of good. I don't think I want to go in with the third coat because I feel like it's, even with the second coat, it kind of starts to clump together. This is a little bit thicker, dry, dry kind of formula, drying formula. Does that make any sound? It kind of makes everything look heavier and stick together, but we'll see how it's going to wear. I did go use this MAC Stack Mascara, and I had my thoughts. Uh, it's not wow effect, okay? Everything that you see in commercials, I don't think that's actually the truth, because if you have already thin, long lashes, it's going to make everything you look more beautiful, but I don't have long lashes, and it didn't make them super big or super flattering or, I know, something special. So it's a good mascara. It doesn't flake. It lasts long day. It's really good, but it's not um, nothing out of this world that is, it looks like it's going to be. Okay, let's see if we can remove that, this dot here. Oh, it moves really fast. Oh, I love that. Ooh, I always make mistakes. I really wish I had more concealer on my lower lash line, but okay. So this is how this looks. Now we have two more products to try out. We do have this new Ordeco, I think it's called Lip Filler Base. Provides a visible lifting effect. This thing here and everything that makes, I don't want any, to do anything with my lips no injections, but I do want them to look plumpier. I love the packaging. Oh, come on, help me. Work against me. I love the packaging. It looks like a lipstick. Okay, let's see. I have nothing on my lips. Oh, it's thick. Hmm. I think this is foundation. Now we need to remove the foundation. I think I had some foundation on it. Look how it made everything look terrible. Okay, so we removed foundation. Let's go in second time. God. Hmm. Okay. It feels comfortable. It feels like it's going to fill in the lines when you go in with the lipstick. I feel like it's doing something. I don't know if it, it doesn't tingle, but it feels like I have it on the lips. It says apply a thin layer to your lips going slightly beyond the edge of the lips. We didn't do that. Why didn't we read the instructions? I never read instructions. Okay, slightly. Okay, that's slightly. But we are not going in with the lipstick, guys. No, no, no. Maybe that's a mistake. We'll see. I actually want to try. I couldn't wait to try this. This is the Karin's Lip Comf Comfort Oil with sweet beer rose oil and uh, this is the outside packaging i have two colors number three and number five and the one is like a pea cherry and the other one is apricot love cherries and love apricot so look the cherry one. Oh, look at this packaging so cute and let's see the apricot this is supposed to, what it says here, it's natural color, glossy shine, lips or moisturize, look more beautiful, even bare, comfortable, light, non-sticky, glossy texture, and it has lip huging cushion applicator. And this is the apricot. I love these colors and they look amazing. Let's just swatch them and smell them. Oh, smells so good, apricot. Let's see. It is definitely giving me that nice kind of soft orange look. Orange look, it's not going to make everything, you know, orange, but... And let's look at the cherry one. Love cherries. Okay, let's... It smells cherries. And this one is definitely more like pink. 
So both of them are really good. We are going to go in with the cherries and this is feeling really comfortable on the lips. I don't know if it's making my lips look bigger. I can't feel it. This is a really nice lip oil. Oh, it feels so comfortable on the lips. It feels moisturizing, definitely not sticky. Uh, definitely not uncomfortable. And I feel like this, um, what it's called, lip filler base, actually made my lips more smooth. Feels like it made them look a little bit bigger. Okay. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. Now, we are going to wear this the whole day. So far, so good. I'm really liking the primer from Smashbox. It made everything look re really nice. I don't know about the foundation, though. I'm not really impressed with the coverage. We'll see. Uh, the concealer, I'm not impressed with. The powder kind of looks good. Um, I'm not really sure about it either, but we'll see during the day. Uh, mascaras, uh, mascara I do like. I feel like it's a nice everyday mascara. It's nothing out of this world at all. Um, most imp impressed actually today with the, the lip filler base and with these lip oils. That's so far my favorite and also the primer. So far my favorite product that I've used. Um, these I don't know guys, let me know. What do you think about my eyebrows? What do you think? Uh, I don't like how it bleeds on my hair, but it didn't actually bleed on the eyebrows. It looks natural. I'm, I'm not an expert, could probably make it look even better if I, you know, I try it more. But I think that's all of the product that I actually tried right now. It's early in the morning, well, not early in the morning, it's 11 a.m. and we are going to wear this whole day. I'm going to go get dressed and I'll come back at the end of the day to tell you how everything worked and looks. So see you soon. Okay, hi guys. It is, let me show you the time, 8 p.m. and I've been having this on for nine hours and let's see how it looks. I didn't touch up. I didn't do anything. My eyeshadow is still there. Look at the mascara. Can you see how much it flaked? And I had some mascara flakes coming uh, in my eyes today, which was irritating. So this mascara, I do not like. It flakes a lot. Um, yeah, look, all of these black dots. And they were in my eyes, terrible. Now let's talk about the concealer. Um, the concealer looks okay. It's not full coverage, so I wish it was, um, but Mascara transformed down here too. I do look like a raccoon. It doesn't look good. Uh, I do not like this mascara at all. The foundation looks okay. I do look a little bit shiny. It did, uh, re I did remove it here on my nose and on my chin, but I'll be touching my face a lot. Um, otherwise, I do like the... Foundation is okay. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. I think I will wear it when I'm not going anywhere, but I just want some coverage. Um, then I'm going to wear it. What else? The lip, um, the lip base, what's called the primer. I don't know if I saw any, any difference. I can't find it here right now, but I do have the lip filler base. I don't know if it was, was filling. The oil was really nice. The lip oil was wonderful. I love it. I have it actually in my, uh, jacket. The other one. Eyebrow product, it looks okay. I'm not liking that, actually. I can see now when I'm oily on my face that it doesn't remove, but it kind of looks, it doesn't look natural. So I know if I applied it wrong or I could do a better job, it doesn't look good. Yeah, I mean, the powder, I don't know. I think the powder was okay. Um, definitely try out with other foundations that I really like and I'll come later in a month or two to tell you actually how it worked when I was using, when I was using these products for a long time. I do like the Smashbox primer. I feel like it did good job. Now definitely going to try it with other foundations to see if it actually works, how it's supposed to with other foundations, but otherwise it was okay day. It was okay. It's not my best makeup look or makeup day, but it's okay.
Let me know down below, guys, if you tried any of these products. What do you think about them? Would you recommend them or not? Let me know down below. Guys, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.